Welcome to the colorful world of Excel themes. Say goodbye to the mundane colors and breathe new life into your worksheet. Excel themes are essential for maintaining a professional and consistent look in spreadsheets. This is especially true for an organization's brand identity in its Excel documents. Therefore, let's uncover the secrets to crafting the perfect Excel theme. Hi there! Welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video we will be discussing how to create an Excel theme. So let's get started. In this video, I'll show you a detailed guide on making an Excel theme. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the list of company revenue dataset which contains the company name, country, and revenue in billions column. The same data is also represented in a bar chart. Here, we want to create and apply a custom theme to our dataset and our bar chart. Before we begin, here's a quick refresher on what is a theme in Excel. A theme is a special look in Excel spreadsheets. Generally, Excel themes consist of three key elements, which are colors, fonts, and effects. Excel has many built-in themes. In addition, you can also make your own custom theme. To create a custom theme, first we have to select a color palette. I'll go to the Page Layout tab. At the top left corner, we can see we have a Themes section. Here, I'll click the Colors drop-down. Here, we can choose any color according to our preference. If we move the slider, we can find even more color palettes. If you want to create your own color palette, then click the Customize Colors button. This opens the Create New Theme Colors dialog box. Here you can change the text, background colors, accent colors, hyperlink colors, etc. In my case, I'll change the accent colors. So I'll click the drop down and select a color. Let me select a deep shade of purple. For accent 2, again I'll click the drop down and select a different shade of purple. Similarly, for accent 3, I'll choose a lighter shade of purple. For accent 4, I'll choose a gray color. For 5, I'll choose a shade of blue. For 6, I'll choose a deeper shade of blue. For the hyperlink, I'll change it to a light shade of purple. We can also preview our color selection in the sample column on the right side. In order to reset our color selection, you can press the reset button. Lastly, I'll rename my color palette to Excel Demi. Then click on the save button to save my color palette. You can see that my color palette has already been applied to my dataset and my bar chart. In the second step, we'll select a font for our theme. In the page layout tab, click the fonts drop down. First, let me resize the drop down so we can see it properly. That seems about okay. Here we can see that we have lots of fonts to choose from. In addition, you can define your own fonts by pressing the Customize Fonts option at the bottom. This opens a new dialog box for fonts. Here we can choose the heading font and body font. For the heading font, I'll type Can Dara. For the body font, I'll type Gil. Sans MT. We get a preview of the fonts on the right side. Lastly, I'll name my custom font as Excel Demi and click the Save button. We can see that our fonts have been applied to our dataset and bar chart. In the third step, we'll select an effect. Effects are basically different styles in Excel. In the Page Layout tab, I'll click the effects drop down. Here you can select any effect according to your liking. For instance, I'll select the glow edge effect. Lastly, we'll save our custom theme. In the page layout tab, I'll click the themes drop down. Then go to save current theme option. This opens the file explorer. I'll save my theme in the downloads directory. So I'll click on Downloads and rename the file to Excel Demi. The file will be saved in the extension .thmx. Click the Save button and our theme is saved. 
Finally, we can apply our custom theme. In order to observe the changes better, we'll first switch to the default Excel theme. In the page layout, I'll click the Themes drop-down and select Office. This applies the default theme to our dataset. Next, I'll click on the Themes drop-down again. This time, I'll go for the Browse for Themes option. This opens up the File Explorer. I'll go to the Downloads folder where I saved my theme previously. I'll select my theme and click the Open button. We can see that our theme has been applied to our dataset and the bar chart. In this demonstration, I have shown you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an Excel theme. Hopefully, you can make your own custom themes and apply them to your worksheets. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!